Hello children, as a curious child wants to find out what is inside a toy by taking it apart. Scientists have for long been interested in learning about the internal structure of an atom. They wanted to find out what are the particles present inside an atom and how are these particles arranged in an atom. For explaining this, many scientists have proposed various atomic models. Today, we will learn about two such types of atomic models which created revolution in their era. One is Thomson's plum pudding model and another is Rutherford's atomic model. My name is Shubhajit and in this video we are going to learn about different types of atomic models. What have you learned in previous class? The three subatomic particles of an atom are electron, proton and neutron. Electron is a negatively charged particle of the atom. Proton is a positively charged particle that is a part of the atomic nucleus. Neutron is an uncharged particle that is a part of the atomic nucleus. The credit for the discovery of electron and neutron goes to J. J. Thomson and J. Chadwick respectively. Thomson determined that atoms contain negatively charged particles which are now called electrons. Learning Outcomes at the end of this session, you will be able to understand about Thomson's plum pudding model, Rutherford's atomic model, keywords, plum pudding, alpha particle, nucleus, Sphere, Electron, Deflection. Let us look at this concept map of this lesson. This atomic model was proposed by J. J. Thomson in 1898. This model is commonly called the plum pudding model. Referring to the way the fruit pieces are distributed throughout a plum pudding. An atom is considered to be a sphere of uniform positive charge and electrons are embedded in it. The mass of the atom is considered to be uniformly distributed throughout the atom. The negative and the positive charges are supposed to balance out each other and the atom as a whole is electrically neutral. The positive charge is spread throughout the atom like the red part of the watermelon. The black seeds distributed throughout the red part represents the electrons. Later, this model was modified because one of the famous scientists 
Ernest Rutherford did a marvelous experiment which changed the concept of atomic structure and created a milestone in atomic science. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford, a scientist from New Zealand, performed his famous experiment of bombarding a thin gold foil with very small positively charged particles called alpha particles. He selected a gold foil because he wanted as thin layer as possible and gold is the most malleable metal. From the experiment, he observed that most of the alpha particles passed straight through the foil. Some alpha particles were slightly deflected from the straight path. Very few alpha particles completely bounced back. Later, Rutherford concluded that the atom contains large empty space within it. There is a positively charged mass at the center of the atom known as the nucleus. The size of the nucleus of an atom is very small compared to the size of an atom. The electrons revolve around the nucleus in close circular paths called orbits. An atom as a whole is electrically neutral, that is, the number of protons and electrons in an atom are equal. Rutherford's model of atomic structure is similar to the structure of the solar system. As in the solar system, the sun is at the center and the planets revolve around it. Similarly, in an atom, the nucleus is present at the center and the electrons revolve around it in orbits or shells. What have you learned? Thomson determined that atoms contain negatively charged particles called electrons. He developed a model of the atom that shows electrons embedded throughout the mass of positively charged material. Thomson introduced plum pudding or watermelon model of atomic structure. Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment led to the discovery of the atomic nucleus. Ernest Rutherford's model of the atom has large empty space with a small dense, positively charged nucleus in the center. 